Hey, what's up, guys? I am Gary Thomas. I'm really excited because we're on the red carpet of the Cassie Athena Collection Showcase here in Pasadena. I got to go downstairs and get a sneak preview of the showcase, and I saw some amazing photos of Steph Curry and Pooch Hall and so many other entertainers. It's great. So make sure you guys head over to hhbmedia.com to check out our photos and interviews. And, of course, follow us on Instagram at hhbmedia. Check us out right now. So guys, I have Cassie Athena here, the woman of the hour. So I'm really amazed by your story. You know, after the brain tumor, you really searched for your purpose. What was it that made you narrow in on photography? Uh, photography's always been my hobby, and then I played basketball in college, and so I used to like to take pictures of the guys' team, like in my free time. I was also an art major, and so one of my teachers really com convinced me, like, hey, you should, you know, take your passions and mix them together. So then I started doing a lot more video, but then I was like, I like pictures. I kind of fell in love with it. So I saved up all my money. I worked at a sporting goods store, saved up my money, bought my first camera, and then like the rest is just history. I just couldn't. I was addicted to it. So I also read that it's not only about just person athletic there were other things about athletes you wanted to spotlight so what was it that made you narrow into say I want to show positive things about athletes not just all the media stuff well because I was an athlete for so long and we would be on the road and going to games and stuff you get to see a whole different side and there's like a family aspect with the coaches the players everybody and so when I started working with like the male athletes and stuff I already knew that they like that family side their teammates I mean they're with them all the time practice games so I wanted to highlight that side but they don't really give a lot of access to that part of their life so once I started gaining their trust as a friend I was like let me film you and you know most of the guys were all really cool with it and I want to show you know the positive side I feel like there's a lot of negative stuff out there and it's cool to kind of just change it up a little bit so, so we're celebrating Cassie Athena and she's got some amazing photos on there I got a sneak peek of it so she spotlights the positive parts of athletes how do you think the media really portrays you guys you know uh, that's that's why Cassie and I really growing to become friends you know she's done a good job of really trying to show the better side of everybody and uh, you know the different things that they do and she always catches the great the great moments too so you know I mean you guys see the pictures downstairs so she she does an amazing job of what she does and you know that's why the turnout was so great so we're celebrating Cassie Athena tonight who her eye is about spotting the positivity and family about athletes how do you think the media portrays you guys normally um, I think the, the media kind of portrays us in and sometimes a positive light when we're playing but when it comes down to not playing it's not very the most positive things you know people spend a lot of money different things like that that's why it's good we have Cassie because you know she she brings a new light to basketball players and different athletes across the world you know she shows all the positive things she'll never show something negative about somebody and that's why I love her man you know I've been working with her with through the lens doing uh that's me and her project so it's just good to be a part of something so positive that she you know she brings to the table now being an entertainment how did you come become familiar with Cassie's work actually Cassie came to me a couple I've been knowing Cassie a couple years really? and she had this idea and, and we kind of sat down and met and I tried to help her like start with everything she had to do and put it together I told her build a website so to keep doing what she's doing and now we're here on the goddamn red carpet she's popping and what advice would you give any young people who want to get into photography especially in sports um, I would say just practice a lot. Like, don't be worried about trying to, you know, be around all the glitz and glamour. Like, really focus on getting, like, good. you have to have good lighting, composition, and really work on, like, whatever you want to do, whether it's sports photography or portraits or landscape or whatever. Just really practice all the time and, and stay dedicated to it, and you could really do anything.